find out how social entrepreneurships work, how our students can get a better understanding of them, and then go on to engage with social entrepreneurships all their working life if that's, if that's what they choose. So they, we feel that the whole world of social entrepreneurship has got a lot uh, to teach us and maybe we've got a little bit to teach them. The first thing we did was we looked at uh, creating a plastic bottle that is not made from petroleum. We began exploring options and we came across a polymer made from, uh, well it's a biopolymer, it's made from corn sugar. This is a brand new and growing uh, technology and so in my hand is a bottle, I'll let you pass this around. I should have brought one for everyone, I apologize. In fact, the business doesn't need to be about maximizing profit. It needs to be financially sustainable. So our first pledge was to put our, all of our profits into funding clean water projects. We were the first product in Tesco out of 70,000 that was carbon neutral. The good news is having done that and got into corn bottles, we've, we've brought the idea to the public attention, to the media's attention, and we've also gotten the attention of the giant companies. Whether you want to think in these terms for saving the planet, which is how we got into it, or whether you just want to be a smart business person, this type of th thinking, I believe, is now at the front lines of, of business. The purpose behind Gem Enterprise is to give everyone, from any background, the ability to develop entrepreneurial skills. What we hope to instill in some of those uh, members of those companies is to be future entrepreneurs so that they can go out and start their own, get an idea, start their own businesses, make money, employ other people. You know, it's a little bit like the, you know, the, um, the Lion King. It's, it's kind of the circle of life. In this case, it's a circle of business. Kids Company is a leading children's charity that offers emotional and practical support to over 14,000 vulnerable children uh, throughout the London area. We work in 38 different schools and we have four street level centres. Kids Company's model uh, is, is unique in the sense that children refer themselves to us. All of us want to do good. We are inherent moral beings and Kids Company as a, as a social entrepreneurial organization empowers others to help the, 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 more, you know, the most vulnerable in society. There was a lot of discussion around um, looking at issues around happiness, for example, um, how uh, social enterprises can become more engaged with schools, so a kind of broad range uh, of ideas, and I think what, what today's done is got young people thinking about what they can do in their schools um, around social enterprise and social entrepreneurship in general. I've been really impressed with uh, the speakers that we've had. I've been very pleased to see the level of questions that the students have come back with and the fact that they are being challenged and being stimulated uh, at a very high level actually. Uh, you know, multi-million pound charities, new companies with sustainable attitudes, these are things that they can both be uh, impressed by but also can see as being relatively accessible. Food for thought and uh, on that note we're looking for things that we can take back to our schools, things that we can circulate. Um, yeah, it's just kind of give me uh refreshing uh, ideas and a new look on ethical enterprises. They've um, achieved stuff which you, which before uh, I thought wasn't possible, like the, um, the corn bottles. I hadn't really thought of that before. But using food when there are people starving to make plastic bottles, I'm not sure I can agree with. We can't feed the world practically as it is, and are we going to move food resources over to fuels and building bottles? If we can use waste, in food waste instead, like the leaves or whatever, that would be great, but why aren't we then? Because this is our kind of money making thing, so if we make the money in ethical things, then I guess I could do it. It's convinced me that it is, um, there, there is hope. 
corporate, sort of corporate businesses, uh, which I probably came in here not believing I was. The arched capitalist Milton Friedman famously said the business of business is business and that social responsibility has no place in business. But actually that's a false economy. Those numbers don't add up any longer. We realize that hey, if we keep consuming at that rate there's going to be nothing left. I thought the conference was incredibly kind of uh, energetic and en energizing. I thought the students were marvelous, you know, in, in the sense of their interest and their, their capacity for inquiry. And uh, I really got the sense that they want to help, they want to contribute, they want to be a part of a, of a fairer society, of a better society, you know. And it, it's really heartwarming to, to come to an institution, you know, like Beedales. I think many of us who lead schools are very conscious that we've got this very lucky population who stand the chance of being. Uh, voices of change in the future and politically powerful in the future and economically powerful and so we've got to get into their mindset to make sure that they are aware of the responsibility that they carry with that luck. I also don't want our students to be feeling this is an either or, that in terms of their working life it's either a matter of uh, going and working for something that they might regard as being uh, a, a purist altruistic activity like working for a charity or it's a matter of going and joining you know, the fat cats of, of, of capitalist society, I'm caricaturing it here, um, uh, and, and making lots of money. That's clearly an outdated uh, view of things. There are ways in which the uh, ethical concerns, the very laudable ethical concerns of students like the ones that we've been hearing today can be uh, intertwined with uh, making a good living and doing uh, doing good uh, through doing good business.